It's only been half a year since Mars was a bright, radiant, red planet in the sky, easy to find and great to observe. Mars reached its closest approach to Earth in December 2022. For planet observers, a highlight that you must wait for a little over two years. While Mars is overtaken by Earth currently, it doesn't take long for Earth, which orbits the Sun further inside the solar system, to move far away from Mars again. Now, six months after the opposition, Mars is only a faint red dot in the sky, hardly distinguishable from the other stars. Planets are especially recognizable in the sky by the fact that they do not twinkle. The reason for this? They do not appear as a tiny little point in the sky like stars, whose point-like beam of light is swirled back and forth by the atmosphere, creating the twinkling. However, when a planet appears only as tiny in the sky as Mars does at the moment, it also increasingly twinkles. After all, the area that the disk makes in the sky is now much smaller. The result? It is not so easy to find Mars in the sky anymore. It also sets shortly after sunset, so you must hurry if you want to photograph or observe it. A nice finding aid now is Venus. It is not far away from Mars and appears extremely bright. The planetary disk is also five times larger in diameter than Mars is now. Here you can see what Mars looked like at the time of opposition in December. At that time, the planet appeared 16.8 arcseconds large in the sky and it was 0.56 astronomical units away from Earth at that time. Here you can see Mars at the current time, six months later and now zero, no, two astronomical units away from Earth. The Martian disk now appears only 4.6 arcseconds large. For comparison, the largest Jupiter moon, Ganymede, will appear 1.8 arcseconds large this year during Jupiter's opposition. Mars is really a tiny thing right now. To capture it in detail, it is not only difficult because of its small size. The lower brightness also requires longer exposure times, which leads to a lower quality of the individual images compared to those taken during the brighter opposition time. It's possible that this was my last Mars image until Mars soon disappears behind the Sun. When it comes out again, it will soon grow larger and the next Mars season will be on its way. Until then, it will be a pleasure to pass the time with Saturn and Jupiter, which are again at a decent height this year. By the way, idiotic. Always check if automatic brightness is set for a time-lapse recording clear skies.